<sighs> okay, we're in the final phases of assembly here. Um, so then after this, we'll be able to get ready and take it outside and go fly this thing. Um, on the inside of my uh, coupler here, I've got some tape that I had covered up these holes. So we're going to go ahead and remove that now. So all my holes are unplugged. I'm going to go ahead and take the shear pins out of the nose cone because we'll need to take that off. Okay, take the nose off. Just set that down for just a second. Okay, let's start with uh, putting the parachutes in the back end of the rocket. Um, this is our shock cord, and we've already got it attached down at the bottom. And this is pretty long, and there's no such thing as a shock cord that's too long, except for if it gets tangled. I'm going to just check it. Okay, and I want to put a parachute protector on this end. Um, now, actually, yes, we do want to put it on this end. So go ahead and string it through the hole. And you'll want to go through back through because we don't want this this shock cord protector to slide along the uh, shock cord so now it's kind of anchored in one spot now this end gets attached to the bottom of the coupler which is this end because remember we had written forward on one end so this is our bottom end and So this gets, oops, there it is. This end gets attached here. And again, I like to use a slip knot. If you can see that. Okay, so then when it cinches down, it pulls that knot tighter and tighter, which is good. And then I'm going to put tape around the excess like I always do. This gives it a little extra protection and make sure that it's a little harder for anything to come undone. So this is attached. Now this is going to be the drogue chute in the bottom. So that's the smaller of the parachutes. Now I want to attach it. Um, it's usually about one third of the way along the shock cord. So I'm just going to find this, assuming this is my one third point, and I'm just going to double it over here. And this is where I'm going to attach my parachute. Parachute. Here's the loop. Pass it through the loop and pass the canopy through the top of that loop. And it's going to be like that. And you'll want to check, make sure your parachute opens before you go and launch it. Okay, so you can wind that up. And this is going to be shoved inside. Now, 
the way that I'm going to launch this rocket, I'm going to have the ejection charge fire first at apogee. So this is going to fire at apogee, and I'm going to use the motor as a backup. Now I want the rocket, if it, this didn't fire, this would go over the top and then this would fire. And I only have one parachute protector, so I'm going to put a little bit of wadding down here. It doesn't take much, so hopefully this one will fire first and deploy the parachute, and then when this one fires, it's just blowing through an empty tube, and you really don't need a lot of protection back there. But the, this um, per parachute protector is, is big enough where I can wrap it inside and protect it like that. So I want to make sure that And when I get to the field, I'll, I'll pull everything apart and then I'll redo it. Okay, so that's that one. Now the top one is going to be, when we assemble this, everything together, remember this is going to be forward, and this is going to be forward. We'll assemble the eBay and then all this will be attached. So here's the second shock cord. And again, we're going to pretty much attach it the same way we just did at the bottom. Might as well go ahead and put my shock cord protector on there. So I want my shock cord protector close to this end because this has the ejection charge on it. Again, we don't want that sliding on us. This is going to pass through, this end of the rocket is forward, so that will pass through there. And then this gets attached, this end gets attached to the nose cone. Last piece of tape. Okay. That's not going nowhere. All right. So now this will be shoved into here. Oh, forgot the parachute. Okay. The final parachute. Again, as we did before, we want to find 
approximately one third of the length of the of the shock cord, and I'll assume it's right here. Tie a knot to it through it. So we got a little hole, and that's where we're going to attach our parachute. This is the big one. This is the main parachute. And this is how you attach it, like we did before. I would stretch all these out, open things up, make sure nothing's twisted in there. But I just want to show you how to attach it. So again, you put it through the hole. Open up all the eyes, so you have a, a hole through the middle. And then take the canopy, pass it through. There you go. So now my parachute is attached. And I would take, again, try to wrap it in the, into the uh, shock cord, or uh, the Nomex recovery wadding. And then when we get to the field, we'll pull everything apart, inspect it all one last time. Get ready to launch. Plastic rivets in there in the holes, my shear pins up here, and then we'll be ready to launch. So the next time you see me, we'll be out on the rocket range. <laughs>